All right, Dougie, tailing or bailing now. Uh, segment, obviously, you want to go with the trend or you want to buck the trend? You don't You don't believe the trend. I, I do. I do sometimes. Yeah. But I believe in the trends more than you. I, I don't just right away assume it's it's definitely predict, predicted. Well, this one, I'm right away assuming it's okay. predictive. I like it. The Bucks going under. They Their offense has been putrid to me under Doc Rivers. Um, their defense has been better, but, I mean, the offense has been not so good. 20 games under Doc, with Doc. They've gone under 16 times in those games. Those games, they're taking on the Sixers. That's his former team. Yeah, he's going to want to beat them down, but I mean the Sixers are going to want to beat them down as well. No, that's another layer to this, right? It's part of the handicap, even not necessarily the point spread, which is eight and a half. So they're expected to take care of business here. The Sixers team, obviously undermanned, but Tyrese Maxey returned. Gotcha. But there, I mean, they started Mo Bamba the other night. Like they're really thin in a lot of ways. Um. But they got competent Lowry, Buddy Heald. I mean, they have some dudes. They're not like the G League team that the Grizzlies are throwing out there, is my point. No, I mean, yeah. I think they're going to play hard. Philly's going to play really hard. I think this is going to be an under. Like, I, I, I think the nature of this game is going to be an under. Now, the Bucks just wrapped up a road trip in Sacramento a couple nights earlier, and they combined, they and Sacramento, for 131 points in the first half. So you're thinking, oh, they only need 104 in the second half. This, huh. No way. And they went 92 combined. The Bucks offense, I think, put up like 30 in the second half. It was pathetic. That was the end of a long road trip. But I always look at the first home game back after a long road trip as like another one in terms of it's your legs. Tough game. Yeah. Right. So because of that scheduling spot, and I think defense is going to be a little more intense. Okay. I lean under here. And how about, I mean, the opponent, the Sixers. If you want a team to go under with, you want to go under with the Sixers. I have to bring it up. They had that game against the Celtics that was horrendous 149 points or the next excuse me 149 points total then they ended up going under again they can't score points they got both mom in the game yeah right? yeah i uh i'm with you i i think it is fascinating because you have a new coach new system new everything both offense and defense so why should the betting market incorporate stats from prior to doc's arrival it really shouldn't and like you said we have a 20 game sample size we don't have three you know so we have enough to go on so maybe the market is still pretty soft on this team. Yeah, well, I mean, you're looking at the trend with the Bucks. I'm looking at the trim with the dang Sixers and the fact that they can't score. So, I mean, that's a fair point. So yeah, all right, you, you're talking me into this a little bit. <laughs> a little, I got FOMO under, just like every under, other gambler. Under. I missed out on the previous Sixers game. Yes, we're, chas we're chasing now. Yes. All right, there we go. Taylor Bell. I'm tailing. Taylor. This guy's tailing.